Hello! This is serving as a recap of the credential program orientation that happened this past Thursday. As you can see, if you look at the left hand side of the screen, there are many slides. There was a lot of information covered. I won't be covering all of the information, however I would like to recap on a few things that were of utmost importance. Oops, that's where it talks about the coursework. Here's what I wanted to really highlight on. Here it talks about the amount of time that is required as far as just an overarching idea from the fall to the spring to the fall. I appreciated both the feedback that in the spring there's a three to four hour minimum requirement and a four to five hour minimum requirement. However, there was also the invitation that one could be on school all day. I also appreciated that that was considered to be the best way to get the most out of the student teaching uh, events. Here it talks about the EdTPA, which when this slide was first presented seemed like an enigma. However, it was nice to know that this is going to be an expectation and not a surprise, which moves me on to the next slide where we talk about an overview of the program. This first semester where it talks about all four classes seems like a very nice healthy balance and a very good way to develop time management skills before we move into the second semester, which on first glance does seem overwhelming. However, one of the classes being online and one of the classes being in regards to the student teaching does make it seem like it is the next logical step after the first semester. The third semester does continue with the more advanced student teaching and the EdTPA, which the class will help us uh, overcome. Then from there, what I want to do is I want to skip the next few slides. Um, they were in the handout and they were full of information. And we, get on here where we talk about the EdTPA in specifics. One of the nice things is that it breaks down what the three tasks are, where it talks about planning, instruction, and assessment. This can also be helpful in an approach towards student teaching because these three things will need to go into each time one steps in the classroom. Again, here it is echoed that it will be completed during the final student teaching semester. Again, echoing what the expectation is, not something that will be used to catch one off guard. The tips here say to save everything for the EdTPA and stay organized. It's something that should be highlighted right there. And then it was very appreciated that it said says right here, do not let yourself get overwhelmed. What was also really nice was to hear that from the panel that was used. It was nice to have a human perspective so that that way it was um, utilizing peers to communicate a message and rather rather than being talked at us it was talked to us. Here on this slide again it echoes the student teaching but it breaks down one how there will be plenty of support, breaks down how there will be a guide and a mentor teacher and it also breaks down the expectations of student teachers. One that they show professionalism and do instructional planning again echoing preparedness one of the extra things from here is that it talks about getting acquainted with the school community. That, I believe, is important because it takes away from the idea of getting acquainted with the school as far as being a job and echoes that it should be more of a career and more of a lifestyle. Finally, it was capped with a simple slide that just welcomes in a very friendly manner. So this communicates that even though this will be a challenging program, this will be a warm program that will be welcoming and also gives freedom for questions, whether in the moment or throughout the process.